Your Storm Shield forecast, only on Fox 47 News. Well, we may have needed the umbrella a little bit uh, later, a little bit tonight, but yes. what about tomorrow? Is it something we need to make sure to throw in our car? Yeah, you know, you're not going to need the umbrella tomorrow. You okay. can, you know, throw it back in the closet. You won't need it at least for right. a couple of days. Tomorrow actually looks rather nice, and it's our last final warm day. So we'll have to oh, enjoy boo. it. I know, okay, I know. Sorry. It's a little <laughs> bit of give and take. It was very warm for today, though. Highs climbed all the way into the lower 70s. Yes, you heard that right. 72. That was the actual high in Lansing today. 71 was the high in Jackson. Reached a high of 73 in Mason. Actually, one of our warmest spots. 73 was also the high in Marshall for today. This is very well above average for this time. The year temperatures tonight, though, cooling down, but not all that much. We're still in the 60s, even though it's already past 1030. It's currently 60. 61 degrees tonight in Lansing 62 the current temperature right now in Jackson it's 60 degrees even in Charlotte 62 right now in Mason still 61 degrees tonight in Marshall so it is still pretty mild all across the region we'll see lows tonight that fall down at least into about the lower 50s so it'll be feel pretty mild tomorrow we'll rebound back up into the upper 60s low 70s our final warm day before we do see a cool down come Tuesday into Wednesday now satellite and radar across the region we are still dealing with a few showers even a few rumbles of thunder. You can see a little bit of that heavier rain right here just to the south, kind of crossing into cold water in Hillsdale. Lansing also dealing with some light rain right now. We'll continue to see this activity last probably for another two hours or so before it eventually comes to an end shortly after midnight. And then from there, we'll see gradual clearing as we go into the day on Monday. The reason for all the rain is a warm front that initially pushed into the region. Now we're seeing that cold front come behind it. This cold front not really going to impact us all that much because we will be just as warm tomorrow. But that's our final warm day because we are in for a big cool down for the middle part of the week. So your future track as we go overnight again by about 11 o'clock or midnight, a lot of this activity begins to fizzle out. We'll start to see gradual clearing as we go towards the day on Monday. We should be dry before sunrise and from there we start the day with plenty of cloud cover, but we'll see gradual clearing as we go into the afternoon by about the lunchtime or so. We'll start to see those clouds break apart and then by the time we're heading home from work, I think we'll have just enough hours at the end of the day to enjoy that sunshine and those warm temperatures before we start to see that cool down come into play. Now overnight Monday into Tuesday, we see a couple chances for maybe one or two showers, mainly to our north and our east. I'm not really expecting that much activity to drop down into Lansing and Jackson, maybe a few sprinkles very early on Tuesday morning. From there, we'll start to see a couple of clouds increase throughout the day on Tuesday, but we'll still see a fair amount of sunshine. And then the better chance for showers and even a few rumbles of thunder again comes late Wednesday into Thursday. So for tonight, a lot of that rain will come to an end by about midnight or so. Lows mild, only dropping down into the lower 50s for tomorrow. We'll see highs that climb into the upper 60s and low 70s. It's going to be another warm day, so be outside and enjoy it. We'll see decreasing clouds throughout the afternoon. Seven day forecast. Enjoy that day tomorrow because it's the last one we'll see at least for a little while. 57 the high on Tuesday, 48 on Wednesday. Could see a little bit of a wintry mix late Wednesday night into early on Thursday. Then we warm above freezing and it'll be just rain Thursday afternoon and Friday afternoon. Next weekend looks dry, nice, just compared to this weekend. Not quite as enjoyable, but you know, you can still get outside and it won't rain. It was on a you. small taste of what's to come in the what next? You know, in three the next, months as yeah. far as when, when West goes. So. <laughs> in the next couple, you know, by the end of May and stuff like that, we'll be solidly in the 60s probably for a while. All right, everyone got their spring clothes out, so they're ready whenever yes. it does happen. Yes. All right, thanks a lot, Claire. Well, it's a joke.